Welcome to our IOCTL introduction video. IOCTL is a command line tool developed by the IOTEX Foundation. For those that have never heard of or used a command line tool before, don't worry. You do not have to be a developer to use IOCTL effectively. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to install IOCTL and to use it as a lightweight IOTEX wallet that you can take with you anywhere. IOCTL is the Swiss army knife of the IOTEX blockchain. In many cases, it's faster and more convenient than using the standard IOPay wallet. And with IOCTL, you can do many things that you cannot do with IOPay. Before we dive in, let's have a quick introduction about IOTEX to set some context. IOTEX is a blockchain platform designed for the Internet of Things. The foundation of IOTEX is our fast, secure, and scalable blockchain that is EVM compatible for Solidity-based smart contracts. Additionally, IOTEX provides IoT-oriented middleware and developer tools for decentralized identity, secure hardware integrations, verifiable data, and much more. Now that we know the basics of IOTEX, let's explain the differences between various types of nodes and users of the network. Specifically, we are talking about block producer nodes, gateway nodes, and blockchain clients. Block producer nodes are full nodes that maintain the blockchain by verifying all actions broadcast to the network. Gateway nodes allow users to connect and interact with the blockchain using APIs, and you can also configure a full node to act as a gateway node. However, in this video, we are going to focus on blockchain clients, which connect and communicate with gateway nodes to get the status of the blockchain, send actions, and more. At a high level, you can think about IOCTL as a blockchain client that anyone can easily install on any operating system. In Windows, you can right-click the Start icon and select PowerShell. In Mac OS or Linux, just locate and open the Terminal app. Now let's walk through the installation process. To get started with the installation of IOCTL, first go to docs.iotex.io, click on Documentation, and locate the IOCTL client reference. Copy this installation command to your clipboard and go back to your terminal. Right click and paste the command. Press enter and wait for the installation to complete. If you're on a Mac and you use the brew package management system, you can install IOCTL with the simple command brew install IOCTL. If you want to verify that the installation was successful, just type IOCTL version, which will give you the currently installed version of IOCTL. In this case, we are working with version 1.1.3. Next, type in IOCTL help, which will give you a full list of all the commands that are supported by IOCTL. As we mentioned earlier, IOCTL can be used as a convenient IOTEX wallet, and you can securely generate and store multiple IOTEX accounts using IOCTL. Simply type in IOCTL account list to get the list of all the accounts stored on your system. Because we've just installed IOCTL, the list is empty as of now. Let's get started with a fun command. IOCTL account create add. This command will generate a brand new IOTEX account and securely store it on your system in an encrypted file protected by a password of your choice. Every account consists of a public address where you can send and receive tokens and a private key that is used to sign actions. This command also allows us to choose a nickname for the newly created account so that when we use it in the future, we don't have to remember the full public address. So let's type IOCTL account create add and I will name this account personal. Hit enter and choose a password to safely store this account. Make sure you do not lose this password. If you lose it, you will not be able to access any funds sent to your wallet. Now when we type IOCTL account list again, we will see our new wallet with the name and the public address listed. This means we can now start using our new account. But before we move on, there is one more command that generates a new blockchain wallet in IOCTL, which is IOCTL account create. Unlike the create add command we just walked through, the create command will not store the account in your system 
and is only useful if you need to quickly generate a test account for a one-time operation. As you can see, if we type IOCTL account list again, we notice that there are not any new accounts on the list. For safety reasons, we do not recommend you to extract the private key from your account directly, but if you need to know the private key, there is a command for that. Just type in IOCTL account export with the name of your wallet, hit enter, insert the password for your account, hit enter again, and you will see the private key displayed on the screen. Make sure to keep this absolutely safe. You can use this private key if you want to import this blockchain account from IOCTL into a different wallet application such as IOPay. Before we can start interacting with the IOTEX blockchain, we must inform IOCTL of the blockchain gateway that we want to use to access the IOTEX network. To do this, we will use the command IOCTL config set endpoint, and we will set the endpoint to API dot iotex dot one colon four four three. This is a gateway service that is maintained by the iotex foundation that anyone can use openly to access the iotex blockchain. At any time if you want to know the endpoint that is being used by iocTL you can run the command iocTL config get endpoint to display the active endpoint. Now that the endpoint is set we can start to query the blockchain. For example, if we want to know the balance of our account, we can run the command IOCTL account balance personal, which will show our wallet address as well as the current balance. As you can see, the balance is zero IOTEX as we just created this account. Now let's try some token related commands. Here I'm creating a new account that I will nickname development. I'm gonna hit enter, insert the password, hit enter again, and now we have a new account named development that has just been created. We can check IOCTL account list to verify that we have both the personal account and the development account on our list. I will now copy the personal wallet address and use my IOPay desktop wallet to send some funds to this account. Checking the balance again with IOCTL account balance personal we can now see that I have four IOTEX in this wallet. We just demonstrated token transfers via IOPay, but you can also perform token transfers directly in IOCTL using the IOCTL action transfer command. Just to find a recipient address or choose the nickname of an account in your system, as well as the amount of IOTEX that you want to send, and finally the signer of the transaction, which is the sender account. For this example, let's define the recipient as our development account. The transfer amount will be one IOTEX and the signer will be our personal account. After we hit enter, IOCTL will ask for the password of the sending personal account. Hit enter again and then type yes to confirm the transaction after checking all the transaction details are accurate, including the amount and the recipient. At this point, IOCTL has now broadcasted our signed transaction to the blockchain and will provide the hash of the transaction once it's completed, which we can use to check the transaction result at any time. Let's copy this transaction hash to our clipboard and use another useful command, IOCTL action hash, and paste the hash of the transaction here and hit enter. As you can see, this gives all the details of the specific transaction, including the amount that has been transferred, the recipient address, and finally, the status of the transaction. Here it says the transaction has been successfully written to the blockchain, which means one IOTEX token has been transferred from the sender address to the recipient address. We can double check this by typing IOCTL account balance for our development account, hit enter, and as you can see, we now have one IOTEX in our development account. We can also check IOCTL account balance for our personal account. And as expected, one IOTEX has been sent from this account and an additional 0.01 IOTEX has been spent as a transaction fee. 
Last but not least, let's see where IOCTL is storing all of our information. On your computer, locate the .config folder and double click it to enter. Inside the .config folder, there is an IOCTL folder which we will now enter. And as we see here, there is also a default folder. Double click into the default folder and you will find two text files. The first one stores the information of our personal wallet and the second one stores the information of our development wallet. There will be one text file for each wallet we create using IOCTL. If you want to make a backup, just go back to the .config folder and make a copy of the IOCTL folder. You can move it to a USB thumb drive or store it in any safe location to take your IOCTL on the go with you wherever you are in the world. We hope you enjoyed this IOCTL introduction video. We covered a lot, but only scratched the surface as far as what IOCTL is capable of. In future videos, we will explore intermediate and advanced features that can be performed using IOCTL. Until then, we hope you enjoy utilizing our flexible and user-friendly command line tool. Bye for now.